Hi, this is Dave with Call to Inspect. We'll inspect your new home like we're buying it ourselves. One of the things I wanted to explain to you is how an evaporative cooler works. What happens is water flows down and from the top and saturates this pad. Then inside you've got this big fan motor and this fan motor pulls the air in through the saturated pads and then pushes it down into the house. And that's where your cooling comes from. That's called evaporative cooling is that water evaporating and then it, the chilled air pushes down. And these are also called swamp coolers. It's the same thing as an evaporative cooler. So that chilled air from the rooftop unit, it gets into the house via this opening in the ceiling. And so what it's going to do is that cold air is going to come down and it's going to displace the warm air that's risen up into the second story. Well, that hot air is going to have some place to go. So just crack a window or a couple of them, not wide open, just a little bit like that. And then what you're going to feel is that warm air being pushed out through the house, through that window. This is the homeowner's operational control, which is right down here. And this is a thermostat. You can actually set this for the unit to come on automatically when it gets warm in the house. Um, this is the main blower control, um, high and low. And then this is, says pump on and off. And this is if you ever wanted to run the unit without the water flowing through it to just kind of use it like a fan. So this is a pretty fancy control. A lot of these evaporative coolers just have one switch on and off. Thank you.